And we've got some newspaper. Okay, let's cut these all open and open them all up. So for those that don't know the directions on how to mine these, you're supposed to take these eggs, they're called eggs, I don't know why, put them in the water for about 30 seconds, then take your handy dandy plastic pickaxe and start to mine. These don't do the job though. I put the camera on the other side because the shadow's in the way. in one video. This is by far the most I've ever mined in one video for the Minecraft mining kits. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from left to right in hopes that we find the rare 1 in 48 chance gold plated creeper. But we can't do it without our good friend, Mr. Hammer. Okay, here goes nothing. And we got a B. There's thunder. There's a storm a coming. We gotta be. Next up, will it be a golden creeper? No, it looks like it's going to be a villager. Okay, that's okay. We still have eight more left. Eight more. It's a. Look at our empty house. This is so weird. Let's go over the most legendary places in this house. First, we have the corner of the red room. This is the red room, even though it's not even red. Even though it's not red. This room, just like the center of the house, the legendary table for all the bottle flipping, dice stacking. Well, that's amazing, and part two is two times better. cool in the kitchen like the kitchen's like food trick shots that's the only food thing trick I shots are like of. the only video we did here this is the legendary room for just like ping pong Right here. Hey guys, I have two things to say. One, I am going to start posting gaming videos on this channel. Tell me what games should I play in the comments. Two, have you watched my newest secret video? Shush. Link in description. Today, beautiful people, we are seeing if we can race through 100 layers faster than an actual police officer. First person to get through their 100 layers gets the key to unlock their shackles. And if you're the last one, you have a punishment so unbearable we can't even show you till the end of the video. And if you're beautiful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and enjoy. Three, two, one, go. Oh! And that's why you wear safety glasses. Jeez, what the heck? Oh my goodness. Whoa, man, is that the new PlayStation 5? They're so hard to find. Yeah, my dad had to pay extra for this bad boy, but this video is gonna make it totally worth it. Oh my God, are you a YouTuber? That's so cool. 
Yeah, but can you hurry along? My subscribers have been waiting forever for this video. Okay, well, I hope your subscribers enjoy your PS5 unboxing and review. Why would I do something so stupidly simple? Whoa! You're not gonna destroy it, are you? <laughs> Obviously. How else am I gonna get popular and go viral on YouTube? But there must be some other way to do that instead of destroying a highly desired console that almost no one can get. <laughs> you must know nothing about the internet. You need to be as outrageous as possible nowadays to get any views. You could also do nice things for views, like giving away that console to someone who really wants one. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Only poor people would have that mindset. Wait, are you poor? <laughs> Get out of here, broke boy. Get your bag up. It's not fair. <laughs> Life is unfair. Get over it. Man, it's. X64 edition on that HP laptop that I've featured in the past couple of videos on this channel. It's currently running the leaked build of Windows 11, but uh, yeah, we're going to be installing. Meet Arnold. He's in space. We're holding an Among Us style party. It's a popular game with over 500 million players and more than any other game in history. With 97% of players playing the free version on mobile devices, but most of the revenue is generated from the paid PC version. Of course, we're playing the free version. If it's free, I'll play as well. Eternally ambitious. This time is non-fiction. 저는 비키트 뮤직 프로듀서 피독입니다. 어 방탄소년단 곡을 Internet connection running slow. Do videos constantly buffer? Try this simple trick. Turn off your laptop. Close the lid. Turn the laptop upside down on a flat surface. Remove the battery. Remove the Phillips head screws on all the corners. Remove the back cover. Locate the laptop's hard drive. It looks something like this. You must ensure this area is dust free before continuing to the next step. You can do this by using a can of compressed air on the hard drive. Thoroughly spray it until all traces of dust are gone. Next, take a fried egg and place it over the hard drive. Place the 
the cover back onto the laptop. Screw back in the screws, reattach the battery, turn it right side up. Open up the laptop, turn on the laptop. Still running slow? Try tapping the laptop lightly Step 2. Egg the laptop. Step 2. Egg the laptop. Step egg, egg the laptop. Step egg, egg the egg. Egg it more. Egg it more. <laughs> Alright, so today let's make some cornflakes. And it's surprisingly simple to make and really only just requires a few ingredients. But how did it taste? Well, they're great. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, this recipe is essentially just a mixture of cornmeal and water with a few extras in there. I'm using about half a cup or about 90 grams of a coarse ground cornmeal here. But a fine ground should also work. All right, so to this cornmeal, we can also add some salt, which just kind of helps give a base to the flavor. Just a few shakes, not much. Now to this cornmeal, we're gonna also add some water. And specifically, I'm using about a half a cup of water. Now, if you want to optionally sweeten this a little bit, you can add a little sugar. Now, I don't like my cornflakes overly sweet, so I just added a little bit, about two teaspoons. And you probably should use granulated sugar if you have it, uh, but I used up all my granulated sugar in the white chocolate video, so I'm gonna be just using a little bit of powdered sugar, which I had laying around. Now, lastly, we need to add some oil, and this will help soften in the corn flakes a little. I'm gonna add about two teaspoons of vegetable oil to this and we're just gonna mix this all up and then we can move on to the next step, which is to prepare a parchment lined baking tray. Now one little trick is if, you're, if you want your parchment paper to stick to the tray, Use a little cooking spray on the metal surface and then the parchment paper will stick a lot better. All right, so just go ahead and pour the corn mixture onto the baking tray and try to get this evenly spread out as much as possible. Really take the time to spread this out evenly. If you don't have an even layer, Tim well. There you go. Thank you. And here you go. How much change would you like for that? What is this? Pepperoni and pineapple. Isn't that what you ordered? Who puts pineapple on a pizza? Do I look like a sociopath? I asked for pepperoni. I, I'm really sorry. Um, would you mind just taking off the pineapple or I could also go back to the store? I'm not gonna do your job for you. Go get me a new one. Absolutely, I'm just gonna need to. You guys like pineapple? Yeah, I'll have some. I love pineapple. Gross. I'm sorry, but can I get that pizza back? My boss is gonna make me pay for it if I don't. Take another slice before I give it back. Here. And hurry up, I'm starving. For sure, I'll be back as soon as possible. Again, I am really, really sorry. Takes discussion and diplomacy, reason and thought. But what if a war could be stopped by just one man? A man who chose to trust his gut instead of a machine. And not just any war, but a nuclear war between the United States and Russia. In other words, this one man single handedly stopped what would have been World War III. It sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, but one day, back in 1983, this exact event happened. Stanislav Yevgrafovich Petrov, a Russian lieutenant, literally saved the world. Without him, it's possible that you wouldn't be here, and the world as we knew it could have ended on that day. So what happened on that fateful day? And what would have happened if the two superpowers nuked each other? Well, get comfortable and get ready for an insane story. This episode truly was one of my favourites to make. You are watching Cold Fusion TV. It's the 26th of September, 1983, and 44-year-old Russian military lieutenant Stanislav Petrov sits at his console. It's been a regular day so far, but suddenly his screen lights up. It's five American nuclear missiles coming straight towards Russia. He had a choice to make. Should he pick up the phone and advise a retaliation strike against the United States? He doesn't have much time to make a decision. If he acts, America 